introduce myself and welcome you all. My name is Judy Camary. I'm the Dean for Fire and Health Sciences here at Amaria College. And we have an extensive group of students, alumni, faculty, and administration, which I'd love to uh, uh, welcome. But what's most important, you're in class right now. You are all participating in a fire protection systems course. This is part of a class. So for all of you who are not traditionally or academically enrolled today, we're going to enroll you into our class today and really want to welcome you. We have a very strong partner here in Paxton, and that's Chief Conti. Chief Conti has uh, supported this program from day one. He supports it in many ways. It gives our students the opportunity to become members of his department, actually participate in fire and EMS activities, training, certification, and he has been very uh, instrumental in many of our students upon graduation seeking and getting full-time employment. So Chief Conti, thank you very much for all that you do. We look forward to doing more. <laughs> I like to kind of bring a hands-on education to the school. So um, without further ado, this is a student-driven project. The students did it all, so I'm going to hand it over to the students. Colin and Chris are going to be our MCs for today. They're going to talk us through the whole thing, and we're going to get ready to start the burn demonstration. Thank you very much. Good afternoon once again, and welcome. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, by, there are two units here. Uh, as they said, one of them has a sprinkler and one of them doesn't. Uh, so we're going to uh, start off by lighting the unit uh, that does not have a sprinkler. Now as it starts to progress, you start to see that it's getting thicker. And as it gets thicker, you need to uh, start to get out and crawl. And now, especially at this point, if you haven't already called the fire department, that is your most important priority. And once you're out, make sure that you stay out. So with this, this is going to be lit mostly by radiant heat. That's traveling up the back now. It's going to come across the ceiling as soon as it hits different uh, areas. It's going to gain more fuel. And as the uh, the heat gets hotter and hotter towards the top with those superheated gases, that's going to then ignite everything else in the room and hopefully get to that flashover point which, where everything in the room reaches this ignition temperature. Something to note, uh, the, the firefighters are guys, they're getting ready to uh, put out the fire when it reaches that stage. Two of them are, are students here at Anna Maria, and then one of them is uh, an alumni of our College of Fire Science program, so we're certainly very proud of them. piece of information to realize is that over 2,000 people die in residential residential fires a year. And this is about 80% of the deaths that occur in fires. So it's very important that if you do have a residential fire, that you get out as quick as you can. There we go. So there are four stages of fire. We've reached, we've uh, gotten to the, through the incipient stage. We're now in the growth stage. Next will become fully developed. Once the fire gets fully developed, as soon as they begin to, uh, to put the fire out, that's when you get into the decay stage. You see the fire starting to roll across the ceiling now. two minutes into this fire, so uh, at this point you're probably just about ending your phone call with 911. They're typing into the computer where, uh, where the fire is, looking at mapping and hydrants, trying to figure out the resources to send. So at this point the fire department is just about being notified, they're not even uh, getting dressed yet. That noise you hear is those self-contained breathing apparatus. 
All that smoke and those superheated gases are very uh, deadly to firefighters and responders and people that could be in the, in the home. That's why it's certainly very important that you get yourselves out. And when we go in, we have that uh, special material. That alarm is called the PASS device. So if something is to happen to the firefighters, uh, they can be found. You can already feel some of the heat coming off of this, and we're about 35 feet back. Imagine the room right next to it. It's going to get a lot of radiant heat, which is going to cause the fire to spread throughout your house. Things that are in homes now, there's a lot of plastics uh, and a lot of foreign materials. So uh, all of that produce smoke that's definitely not good to breathe in. And on that, you can start to see the smoke getting black, and that is all of the plastic that Chris was mentioned. So now you, you saw that it just reached the plateau stage where everything was about to uh, they auto ignite. So this time the fire department is making what's called a direct attack. They're going right to the seat of the fire and putting the fire out.